Andy Allardort, and in this video lesson, we're going to take a look at six young guitar players who show a distinct influence from the great Jimi Hendrix that carry on the tradition of Jimi Hendrix's guitar playing through their own very distinct styles. We're going to start off with a phenomenal uh, woman guitar player named Melanie Fay, who's so unique, and we're going to take a look at her twists, the things she likes to do when she plays Jimi Hendrix's Little Wing. interesting chord voicings and open strings. In this example I begin with this this E add 9 really nice voicing and do a reverse right and then this F sharp 7 sus 4 and that just moves up so F sharp and then this is like G minor 7 but you could also think of it as like an E9 chord. A major 7, sus2 with the open B. And Hendrix does voicings like this in One Rainy Wish and um, May This Be Love, variety of songs, um, Angel. So after that beginning, this nice switch to A minor 9 and she loves these these fast slide pull-ups and then I just played a descending lick to get back to A major and then I'm going to kick off this little wing uh, sort of emulation and then so that's the other thing she likes, is these, these fast hammer pulls. And then this is a really nice uh, A-flat diminished into A minor 7 sus2, or sus4, sorry, A minor 7 sus4. And then this is very interesting. sort of this E flat and then here E flat um, minus 7 flat 5 and another one of those fast slide pull-offs so you got and then this is another thing she likes these quick hammers using those open strings again and this voicing is a little tough because you have to get your fingers in there and then it just moves down. So this is a minor 9 sus2. B goes down to B flat, A. And then kind of your typical Jimmy. So the so so Jimmy does stuff like that or another one of those and then 
So more open strings, that open G stays in there for the D. Typical Jimmy, but then this. This is a diminished leg. And you could think of that as over the five chord, like this brief reference to uh, five, seven raised, five, so B seven char uh, raised five. Sharp five, I was gonna say, so. That's how it closes out. Next up is one of the best blues guitar players on the scene today, Chris Stone Kingfish Ingram. He likes to play Jimi Hendrix's Hey Joe in his sets. And like Melanie, he has very unique things that he adds to the tune. Really cool, distinct twists. We're going to get into that right now. <laughs> he likes to change the chord voicings a little bit and make them a little more interesting so instead of a straight C chord he plays it's like a C6 sus 2 or add 9 C6 six, six, add 9 and then the same thing like a G6 9 so you're going to have that there D sus that uh, resolves to D, and then A sus resolves to A, and then an E minor, unlike E major, which is what Jimmy plays. One more time. Guitar solo, I got a wah wah pedal here. Start up like that. So it's very Jimmy, very Jimi Hendrix like, blues, typical. Uh, a blues rock style, and that's how Kristen uh, uh, likes to play. And then this, uh, these sort of sixteenth notes, that kind of thing. firmly just right up here in E minor pentatonic with 
the blue scale. And then those high bends. So the combination of Albert King, BB King, and Jimi Hendrix. Another great and very distinct player is Marcus Machado, who's more rooted in a uh, classic R&B, uh, contemporary R&B and soul style, but there's definitely a Hendrix vibe happening uh, in his soloing, uh, mixed with that Curtis Mayfield rhythm part. So let's take a look at that right now. Okay, so this Marcus Machado example is sort of rooted in very classic R&B soul. Uh, we're in the key of E, but we're starting on on three minor, so G sharp minor to C sharp minor seven, and then what would be the two chord F sharp minor seven back to G sharp minor to A major seven, and then. A9 with a B bass, or A9, add 9 with a B bass. And you can do your classic Jimi Hendrix, Curtis Mayfield, little single string embellishments within the chords. play these. Hendrix did it all the time. So and then for the solo over that you really just play E major, which I'll demonstrate now. solo begins over G sharp minor and as I said most of the licks are based on the E major scale so I start right on that G sharp note and then get to a C sharp when the C sharp minor 7 chord comes in and then uh, and then with my melody I'm just gonna follow that chord progression of F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A major 7 by going and just straight up pretty much the E major scale to get to this bend up to C sharp and then this fast ascending Marcus likes playing things like that, and Hendrix does that on uh, Here Am I Trying to Come and, and on uh, Made This Be Love, all kinds of songs you'll hear him do that. And then over, when we get back over C sharp minor, um, I take advantage of C sharp minor, uh, pentatonic minor.
And then another thing he likes is this octave thing. We know Jimmy loved using octaves for all kinds of solos. You hear it, of course, on Third Stone from the Sun. Um, that's sliding. And I kind of wrapped it up with E major pentatonic. Which will work over all the chords. Another terrific young player is Ayla Tesler Mabe. She has such a cool style, very unique. Again, it's in this contemporary R&B style, her music, but the soloing uh, has a heavy blues, a lot of feeling in it. So uh, I'll play some examples that are along the lines of her style right now. Alright, for this Ayla Tesla Mave example, uh, we're in C sharp major seven at the beginning here. And then it switches to what's really like C sharp minor nine, even though there's no third in the chord, but it's implied. So major seven, and then nine, then F sharp minor seven, or minor nine. And then to B9, which is major. So one more time, like. And then for soloing, most of the soloing is C sharp major pentatonic and major scale. And there are definitely Hendrixisms and also just sort of blues, B.B. King. So I'll show you what I mean. So as I said, the soloing over this is mostly C major pentatonic. Very bluesy. But then she does this cool thing over that F sharp minor nine. So that's right on F sharp minor nine. And you can see it as A major 7 too. And then I went more to like C sharp major scale. And that's where that sort of BB King thing comes in. very melodic, a lot of feeling, and a heavy attack. And then this jazzy. And then into that B.B. King style stuff. One of the top blues guitar players on the scene today is Joanne Shaw Taylor. She recorded a video recently from Jimi Hendrix's flat, his apartment in London, and she did this blues thing, this shuffle, kind of uh, with a canned heat, uh, John Lee Hooker vibe, 
And uh, this example, this next example, is going to be in that style and show, uh, demonstrate some of the soloing things that she likes to do. And you can hear the connection to Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> So this rhythm part is just this little vamp in A. There's a shuffle, one and two and three and four and one. It's kind of a very much John Lee Hooker, boogie kind of a thing, candy going up the country. kind of emulates an open tuning like John Lee Hooker would do because it's all A. So you're going between the A string and that A note and then you pull off and then a so those are the pieces. solo over at the giant plays is just this very bluesy thing that uh, shows the influence of T-Bone Walker and Chuck Berry and the things that influence Jimi Hendrix. So it's Hendrixy in a way and it has the same influences, but you'll see what I mean. said for the solo it's really this sort of straight blues thing you get over this and Joanne likes to start with this this Chuck Berry um, Chuck Berry T-Bone Walker these you know you bar and band two strings at a time It's also very Bill, Billy Gibbons, you know. Uh, if I take this shape, then move it up. And then that quick. And she likes doing that quick slide down. Hendrix did that. Steve Ray Vaughan loved to do that. And then back to the that rhythm part. Last up is a great guitar player named Aaron Jones. This is a very Hendrixy groove on a song called Emily. This is along the lines of that song and what he plays. Let's get into that right now. <laughs> rhythm part uh, off E. It's almost kind of voodoo childy, but the groove one, two, three, and one, two. 
Um, it's not like Voodoo Child. But, you know, uh, a heavy riff off the open low E, that's something Hendrix did all the time. <laughs> So that's what I'm playing. It's along the lines of uh, Aaron Jones' lick. And then when he's singing on the verse, So playing these little two note chords on the A and the D string with the open G in there, something Hendrix did all the time. You know, he did it in uh, Hey Joe and in Here My Turn to Coming and Voodoo Child, uh, all kinds of songs, just something that Hendrix did often. So it's pretty simple. You just have that. to the other part. And then back to the first lick. So here is some soloing in Aaron Jones style, and that is also very Hendrixy in terms of sort of heavy blues moving around, um, you know, that Jimmy ramped up uh, blues rock style. Let's go over this solo, you have the lick. And Aaron likes these uh, oblique bends, very Hendrixy. That <laughs> so that very dramatic slide down and then back up the one string thing, something Hendrix did on Voodoo Child. Here my train of coming. So. So. Those slides and pull offs moving quickly. And then back to the test. So that type of soloing, a quick hammer pull, and then straight to this blues. That type of thing, so, but if I try to do it slow, sometimes it's hard to do it slowly.